Well, months after a fall that could have killed her, a Colorado mountain climber is making progress in her recovery. Quinn Brett fell while climbing El Capitan in Yosemite National Park. Our Jamie Leary met Brett today. She is live at Craig Hospital, and Jamie seems to be improving every day. We watched her get on a bike in her recovery for the first time today. In fact, doctors have had to tell her to slow down because she wants to do so much. She has always loved inspiring others. And now here in her recovery at Craig Hospital, she continues to work hard every single day to find a way to do just that. Quinn Brett is an accomplished climber. She has a few firsts under her belt and a speed record up the 2,900-foot nose of Yosemite's El Capitan. She was working on her speed during her most recent climb up the nose, and her life changed in a split second. A foot slipped or the piece that I was on popped, I'm not sure. She recalls the feeling of falling, but everything went dark upon impact. I fell about 120 feet and hit Texas Flake and then fell into the space between Texas Flake and El Cap itself. So I was kind of hidden in behind a flake. The 37-year-old works in Rocky Mountain National Park and rescues people in her same position. But that October afternoon, she found herself on the other end. The fact that it wasn't the bot recovery is pretty lucky. She is paralyzed from the waist down for now. Like this sucks for now and I'll keep working towards bringing some life back to them if the body will allow, but my spinal cord doesn't look very good. <laughs> she has a master's in psychology and has learned to overcome incredible heights, but now she faces some new fears. Loving, being in love and being loved by everyone. That's a scary thought. <laughs> to not be loved because I'm in a wheelchair. Still, Brett has a desire to keep moving, and she hopes no matter how things play out, she can continue to inspire. I think it's all possibility, so why not try it all? Um, yeah, just keep trying and keep inspiring people to do the same within themselves. Quinn has a You Caring page set up for donations to help with the recovery. She's got about 30 more days left for inpatient care here at Craig Hospital before she can head home to Estes Park. Live in Inglewood at Craig Hospital, Jamie Leary covering Colorado first. An amazing woman, Jamie. Thank you. Not a